It's doll time! Good morning, everyone! Good, good morning, morning, Miss James! Welcome back. I hope we are all feeling good. Our numbers are a little bit down today because, of course, it's October and flu season. A couple of people are out sick, so we're going to send them our get well wishes. But today we have an art class. I'm so, so excited. Doing fall art is my favorite thing ever! And I know you guys are so artistically talented, so the theme of our lesson today is going to be fall. Today is a little bit of a different art class because we will be holding a competition. <gass> competition? <gasps> Imagine, I'm going to win a What will the prize be? So here are the rules of the competition. You have complete free will. You get to draw or paint whatever you comes to mind when you think of fall. So it could be leaves, it could be bunnies, it could be nuts, it could be anything that you like. And then I will judge at the very end whose painting I think or drawing is the best. And they will win a special fall themed prize. What do you think we could do? Oh my gosh, Jasmine, what are you thinking of doing? Oh, well, I have a couple of ideas. I just, mm. I think I really do it oh my gosh, I really want to do it. Water, I yeah. Really, oh, this is so fun. Yeah. So I have all the easels set up here, and you guys can do whatever you like. You can draw, you can paint, you can do glitter art, you can do finger painting. It is completely up to you and your artistic beliefs, whatever you want to do. There is everything set up here. So guys, you can start now with your art pieces. You have up until the 10 minutes before class ends where I, you know, I'll take them up and judge them and announce the winner. Like I said, you can do whatever you want. And remember, the goal for today is fall. I'll be at my desk if anybody needs me. Yay, I'm so excited! Oh Jasmine, what are you thinking of doing? I have a really good idea, but I'm not gonna say it out loud in case anyone takes my idea. Yeah, good call. This is boys versus girls. Three boys and three girls. Let's see who gets it right. See, you can dream, but I like I always say, what's an artist? Never wrong. I mean, I mean, uh, what's an artist? Always an artist. So you can try, but I'll win. Me and the boys, let's go. You know what? In Australia, it's different. It's so much colder here in America. Like when it's fall, I don't know what I think about this. Like I can't do any of the fun sports that I like. I can't go surfing, and I can't even go skating. It's so unfair. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna make a painting for Elsie, uh, even though she's icy blue. Or maybe I'll make one for Honey. Yeah, she's more wintry and folly. <laughs> Guys, we have to get our paints. Come yeah, on, let's get started. Mm, now that is the outline done, so my painting can be super precise. I want to win this competition. Hmm, what would Picasso think if I think about the internal artistic ideas that I have? How would my creative speak? Wow, this autumn tree is going to be amazing. I can't wait to add all the greens and the, the oranges. It's going to be great. Oh, I'm thinking of doing a robin. This will definitely win the competition. I just have to make it super good. I'm worried, but I have to get this done right. I gotta be truthful to myself. I don't feel like I love fall. I gotta do something different. Oh, I think this is a great drawing. I've got my base all ready. Now I just need to tilt it to paint the side of the... Oh no! I painted the sides of the canvas, which means I can't touch it! It's gonna be super difficult now! Oh guys, quick note to self, don't paint the edges of the canvas. It makes it super difficult. Uh, no taken, OC. Okay, I guess I better start. Alright, eh? You know what? I'm gonna fall my heart. This is what fall is to me, so this is what I'm gonna do. Blank, because the water's cold. I can't go skating. And nothing works. That's what I said. Well, Timmy, could you elaborate on why you chose to paint your canvas one dark color? I don't understand how that's fall. <laughs> well, you see, miss, my favorite things in the whole wide world are surfing and skating. And in autumn, well, fall as you guys call it, it gets dark and I can't do anything like that. And the water's super cold, so autumn to me is just dark. It's sad. I, I, I understand that maybe this time of year is a little bit sad for you. But what I would encourage you to do is find the goodness and fun and learning in autumn. There's so much you can do. Maybe you can draw a, a skateboard in hopes that when it gets lighter, you can skate. Or maybe a candle to represent light in dark times. You know what, miss? I really like that idea. I think I'm gonna do the candle. Thanks so much, miss. Oh, uh, hey, Chris. What did you, what did you do? <laughs> oh, well, Jasmine, I know maybe difficult for you to understand my artistic ways, but I decided to take the root, lesser taken, the colors that never see the light of day, and breathe in and experience my inner artiste. 
All that's left is a rainbow beret. Um, yeah, Chris, I mean, I don't understand how that's autumn, but I, I guess it's cute. <laughs> wow, Chris, I love the colors you use. You know, a lot of people would just go for browns and reds, something basic, but yours are so vibrant. I absolutely love it. Well, you know, miss, uh, I am an artiste. <laughs> yes, of course you are, Chris. Oh, this background of the robin is really good, but I really want mine to stand out. I have to start the robin fast. Now that the background is done, I can go straight to the tree. Oh, wow, I wonder what colors I'm going to use. Ooh. Well, I can't really see how I can salvage the hedgehog, so I'm just going to do an autumn nut. Yes, this nut is amazing. <gasps> wow, Paul, I love it, but... You know, my artistic voice tells me that you've gone all wrong. I think you should really catch the light with a vibrant red and then purple into there to show the qualities of sadness that the nut will soon be eaten by a feral squirrel. Yeah, I think that would make it much better. Uh, yeah, thanks, Chris. I'm all up for my bros. Tell me what's, you know, can make myself better. Cool, thanks. No problem, I'm here to save the art students of this generation. Well, Ani, though I do like your uh, bird, your winged animal as such, I believe that your colors are all wrong. Uh, you know, the bird symmetizes, you know, a light and air and flying. I think you should have gone with the lighter blue, not this cobalt blue that you were using. And the green is much too dark. And it's a uh, bird is sitting. Um, I'm not sure about this. I don't think you should win this competition. Chris, it's autumn. It has to be dark colors, you know. Well, you know, I think you should trust me, Ani. My artistic values are so excellent. Let me talk to Jasmine. I'm not so sure. Well, Jasmine, while I do like your tree idea as such, and the growth and spiritual healing, what I find is that your leaves are too big and bushy. We are not experiencing vibrant spring or vibrant summer. It is autumn. The branches are stark and thin. Like, it's too bushy. You know what I mean? You, you got what I'm saying? Well, not really, Chris. It's, you know, it's my artistic beliefs. Oh, uh, yes. Well, uh, I think they're all wrong. I think you should listen to me. My pumpkin is beautiful. Wow, Timmy. Now, I do understand the candle idea of warmth and light in dark autumn days. But like I said, that would be winter days. We are experiencing autumn, but there's still light left to guide our souls. So I would not agree with your painting. If it was winter, however, I would be saying, bravo, bravo. But I am not. My light chill out. <laughs> it's just an art class. What are you talking about? It is not just an art class. Art is the reason our souls are satisfied each day. They're the reason our minds wander and our hearts stay true and full. You will understand in time, dear Timothy. Until then, you must find out for yourself. Bro, like, thanks for the advice, but you're never going to finish your own painting if you keep advising people. Uh, 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 a true master. Time manages perfectly. Timmy, I am so proud of you. I'm so glad that you didn't just go for the dark canvas and did a beautiful candle to signify light. I'm so happy that you took my advice on board. I'm really happy with you. Oh, and Paul, that is lovely. I love the nut and the dark orange to signify the fall sunsets. Really creative. Well done, boys. Thanks, miss. Thanks, miss. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get to my painting. Chris, Chris, you've got green paint everywhere. Uh, green paint? Oh no! I'm sorry. Well, uh, a, a true artist always leaves his mark behind him. Uh, uh, but I'll clean it up. Sorry. Uh, well, that didn't go as planned. I can't let the teacher see this mess. I gotta clean it up. Okay, everything's all cleaned up. Perfect. I better go help Elsie. I haven't given her any artistic helps yet. Oh, I better go. Oh, Elsie. Now I see your beautiful leaf is on gradients. But what I would suggest is that Chris, yeah, I heard you giving advice to everybody. Look, I think it's really sweet of you, but I'm actually good, and I know what I'm doing, and I don't really need your advice. I think you should focus on your own painting, you know what I mean? We're almost done in like five minutes, and you haven't even finished your background. Shouldn't you be focusing on yourself? Oh, uh, um, uh, well, uh, fine, I will. <laughs> if you don't want my advice, don't take it. <laughs> You'll be sorry. Oh, that boy, will he ever learn? <laughs> okay, back to painting. Dab, dab. This just looks amazing. Oh my goodness, I really hope I win. I want to get the prize. Okay, everybody, five more minutes. So we need to be finishing up now. Final touches, final touches. Once it's finished, it's finished. Okay, Miss Jane. Okay, Miss Jane. Okay, everybody, time is up.
job. All right, I'm so proud of you. Your paintings are looking fabulous. This is gonna be so difficult to choose who is the winner because you guys are all absolutely wonderful. So we are going to start with Jasmine. So you can explain your painting or I can just look at it whenever you like. Well, I think I'm going to explain it. I did an autumn tree because I feel autumn trees are different from all the other seasons since it's yellows and oranges and reds and I feel mine really stands out. Absolutely beautiful, Jasmine. I love it. It is so nice. Okay, um, Ani, you're next. <gasps> is that a little birdie I see? Yes, miss. It's a robin. You know, I really like robins because they include, you know, Santa and they're always looking after us and everything. And I really wanted to put all my inspiration to this little robin. What do you think? It, does it look good? I love the sunset colors in the back and the detail of the eye and on the beak are beautiful, Ani. So beautiful, so detailed, so creative. I love it. Okay, on to Elsie. <gasps> wow. Well, I wanted to, you know, talk about the autumn leaves turning from green to orange to yellow to eventually brown. And I did this beautiful gradient. I'm so proud of it. Do you like it, miss? It is stunning. I love the gradient. It really shows the colors, how they change through autumn. Absolutely beautiful. Well done, Elsie. Well done. And Chris, you're next. Oh, well. well I didn't go to the bathroom, so I didn't get to, to do the background, but you know, it was my intention all the time. I decided it would be white to signify um, how it, it contrasts with autumn's bright colors, and you need a white background to balance everything out. You know, uh, that's, that's, that, that is it, and I think it's correct. But you know what, Chris, this was up to your own interpretation. So if that's what you think, that's correct. And I really love it. I'm dead, like I said before, the colors are beautiful. And the, the way the light catches the colors, I'm really a big fan of it. Okay, on to Timmy. All right, so I like, you know, inspiration from you. You said a candle to, like, do light in the dark, you know, kind of wintry days and autumn days and full days. So I've done a candle. I, I try my best. I'm not really artistic. But I hope you like it, miss. I absolutely love it, Timmy. And what I love even more is that you took my advice and you tried it out in a new thing that you aren't, that you're not, like, you know, super into. So I'm really proud of you. Really, really glad you took that leap of faith. And finally, Paul. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, it was a hedgehog before, but it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, so I made it a nut, and I put like an orange kind of sunset background, and you know in autumn the squirrels come and they take their nuts for hibernation, so I was gonna do a squirrel, but I was too hard. <laughs> Well, Paul, I love your honesty. The nut looks amazing. I love it. And you know what? We don't talk about hibernation and the little squirrels and animals enough, and it is perfect. The representation is wonderful. The colors are vibrant and beautiful. I love it. Guys, you are giving me a very tough competition. I do not know how I'll be able to choose a winner, but I'm going to choose. I'm going to think hard and fast. And remember, everyone's is still beautiful. It's just my personal favorites. Okay, let me think. Oh, I'm so nervous. I wonder if I'll win or not. Well, I am very good in art, and I might win, or I probably will win. I don't know. I don't know. I think my robin looks great, and I'm super confident in what I want to do. I love all the red and the orange. Oh, I wonder who's going to win. Oh, I really like my leaf, but everyone else is amazing, and she loved Timmy's. I don't know if she'll pick me. I hope she does. Of course I will win. Mine is so abstractly beautiful, and the essence of my true feelings are really in there. You know what? I love it. It's my prideful pumpkin. You know what? Even if I don't win, I don't really care. I'm just really proud of my art, but I do hope I win because the prize could be super cool. Oh, I hope I win. It would be even more meaningful if I could give it to Elsie if I won. Oh, fingers crossed. Because everyone was so amazing, there is two winners. <gasps> two winners? That is winners. Oh my goodness. Two winners? Well, maybe it's me and somebody else. That's okay. Other people can win, too. Oh, winners, two winners, Jasmine. Do you hear that? Oh, then I'll definitely win. Yay! And the winners are, drumroll, please. Ani! <gasps> I won! Yes, I knew my Robin would do me justice. Yay, I'm so happy. She's first? It's okay. They always save the best to last. Don't worry, Chris. You got this. It wasn't me, but I, I'm always the best at art. What? And our last and final person, drum roll, please. Elsie! Oh my goodness, I can't believe I won. Thank you, thank you so much, Miss James. How was this possible? I worked so hard. I put 
put my heart and soul and mind and spiritual inner child into this artwork. And yet I did not win. But it is okay. I am winner inside. But I really want that cupcake. Aww. I want to give a huge congratulations to cousins Elsie and Ani. I had never seen a beautiful gradient leaf and little robin before. They were so unique and I was really, really proud of them for using as much skill as possible in their drawings. But regardless of all that, everybody did incredible and I'm so proud of my students and we finished on a great note so everybody else gets sweet Granny Smith apples. Yay! Freshly from my orchard. What? I didn't win? I'm gonna have to start practicing my art more. I've never seen competition like this. Hooray for the art competition! Yay! Okay, everybody, let's dig in! Yeah. This yeah. cupcake looks amazing! Oh, wow. The icing! <laughs>